I thought we'll do a quick comparison of uh, the Forever Glow Star Filter and uh, the Forever Glow Veil, but I think I'll switch it up because it's already in the evening and here I think you have an, a better idea of uh, the coverage this gives. I have it in shade number one. Um, I've used it before and I was really pleasantly surprised um, how um, about the coverage it gave. Um, I did compare it to a cheaper one from Catrice and it was something completely different, which um, in quality I um, I'm not sure if you could even compare it because it just acted um, not the same um, and I'm just come on yeah how much do we want to do this much mm -mm -mm, a little bit more so um, since Christian Dior is heavily fragranced and I do have especially during the winter time trouble with dermatitis in that area try to avoid putting something with um with fragrance there okay sorry um I need a mirror because this is um and you know especially it felt my skin felt very um very well hydrated and um yeah plumped really um from the star filter it's pretty um it's pretty neutral but with a hint of rosiness um who pointed it out today um i forgot i did watch some first impressions on it from someone else as well and um, I lost my train of thought I mean the sliding really sucks I think I'll do it I'll do another one tomorrow it um not upon application it is a little bit thicker let me just do this and here i'll take it here this is much oh, this is wrong here as you can tell Did star filter? And, or am I smelling the pot? I mean, I just really, really love the fragrance of uh, Dior um, Cosmetics. It's, it's just delicious. It's really, really nice. Really, really like that. Even though it's not good for my dry, sensitive winter skin here, I mean, when it's, when it's really hot and um, no, for example, on vacation at the beach, I don't have this issue. But during the winter, it really flares up and it's god awful. I mean, horrible climate. But I do enjoy the seasons, of course, and the holidays that come with it. Yada yada. So, um, I'm not sure if you can tell. I check on my lips. I mean, the lighting is horrible. It's too dark already. But I personally, I can see clearly that this has some decent, well, not decent, but um, a soft coverage to it. And um, 
by the way i'll use the coarse protein blush that matte one that hated one from the spring collection and 280 um just in a second first i'll go in with 1.5 and concealer we'll do we we'll do some your oh shoot is that too much yeah this is a little deal swirly here so i just felt like it was appropriate um back a little bit for you to see better let me I'm not sure if you can even use this oh, the sun just said um, I took a late shower to get ready I mean, I said I will avoid the fragrance here. And unfortunately, I mean, I really wish they would have skipped the fragrance, at least on the concealer. They could have, they should have. Now this... Oh, this looks a little bit cakey right now. Not sure about that. Also use the uh, new bronzer again, which like, I'm just mad at myself for getting ready too late to actually offer good lighting. But who knows? Um, different lighting um, I find offers different angles to shades, and I really. I'm really glad when I'm interested in a product. I'm very glad to check out different videos. Um, you know, artificial lighting, natural lighting, direct sun, and it always looks a little bit different. But you get just a more, um, more rounded idea of a shade and an undertone. So. Um, hopefully this might be useful. So the, um, the, the bronzer with the first review, I did Charlotte review all the shades, you know, Charlotte Holcroft, I'm not sure right now, I think she did, and we could get an idea that all of them were um pretty warm um then i thought i won't get it because of that and then um watching more it turned out to be a bit peachy and i do like bronzy peachy blushes or similar products sometimes i mean let me really hurry up to show you um but first let me grab this Blush real quick just to do I want to set here? I mean it's not like you can see anything from this blush anymore. That's a stupid idea. Um let me just go in with that bronzer. So because it's almost dark in here. Now this, I really have to get my hair out of the way. Um, so. 
to I have shade 031 color bronze it's a lighter shade and I'll go in like this because it's well pigmented and go like this you see and as many reviewers had stated um, the two lighter shades as well as the two darker ones are pretty similar um, as to almost undistinguishable so usually I go for the light pink rather than the um, light apricot or coral I don't know I don't know the season it really hit me with love for these corals let me emphasize that a little, a little bit Ooh. Yeah, unfortunately you cannot well here in the mirror I see it um, more intense with some really coral flush to it and it's so pretty. So you know it's pressed powder and um, that's why I'm just dabbing into a pan like that because uh, I don't want to waste any product, I don't want to kick up too much, I don't want to apply too much. Ooh. Well now it actually has me contemplating if I do want a pinky one because this has I should grab a um, some artificial light to show you in in oh, I'm missing the word. Do I need the rosy one? I think I've never applied this much. This is so pretty. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's getting really dark. But as I said, I will. I will give you that, um, I'll try to give you at least an artificial lighting, another um, uh, look at the colors and here let's apply velvet nude look. What else? <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Let me try this Pat McGrath fetishized mascara for the first time. Let's do it. Come on. Okay, I need a mirror. This is. Actually not working like that. <sighs> Quickly, because I think I'm running out of um, I always 
always have to so actually I smell everything but I don't know mascara mascaras are especially fun to smell I think because yeah like this one it smells so really nice that's I like it. Shoot, now I messed it up. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I feel so weird talking on camera. I think I the problem is I try to behave my best. <laughs> no, seriously. It's it's just um keeping me from uh, you know making jokes and just be just some fun and not just blunt and oh but I'm just shy and since you put it out there well, but yeah scared to um to you know what I mean Be careful when you hold it back there. Oh, man, that really hurt. That really, really hurt. Um, yesterday I decided I have to, I want to do more with my brows because I watched something with a particularly more pronounced, strong, uh, polished look and well I won't do it tomorrow <clears throat> because I don't want to show up like an idiot with some brows that are too dark you know um showing up for family Easter um lunchtime and going hey guys what do you think about my brows Ooh, I love that glue. Not about the plumpiness. I mean, is it about my face? Is this one just more plump? Even though I slept on that side. I think I should switch it up tomorrow. Let's do it again tomorrow. I'll put it because it just feels more plump, but I really have to put it on this side tomorrow and then we'll see because i mean but this primer is much thinner as well <clears throat> well well here you can actually see how coral and uh, yeah glowing it is but you do i want those glowy bronze cheeks and with a rosy hue not sure kind of want everything okay thanks for watching i'd love for you to subscribe and um yeah hopefully i will be um a, a bit more interesting to watch and listen to as soon as i um 
can develop my um, my trust to just talk into a ca camera. It's weird. I feel like an idiot. Which um, I probably am, but I also think you should sometimes be and feel like an idiot to try things. I mean, you need to, you, you usually have to go outside your comfort zone, try something new. I hope all of you have a very nice evening and can enjoy the holidays. Um, or not enjoy the holidays wherever you are. Just have a very nice evening. Bye.